Two dope kitchen, boy. I'm hungry. Today, I got a two dope ass recipe for you. Today, we are making something that I know that many of you guys can appreciate. We are making a bacon grilled cheese cheeseburger. Honestly, this recipe is good for the munchies. It's also good for if you got a hangover. Now, I've never been high, but I've been drunk. I mean, and pretty much that's the same thing, right? But whatever your reason is for eating this burger, it will surely put you in a diabetic coma of love because I'm telling you, this is how we do it in the Tudo kitchen. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need ground beef. You're gonna need one egg, one onion, any type of cheese of your choice. For this one, I'm using cheddar cheese, mild cheddar. I'm using Colby Jack, and I'm also using provolone. You need hamburger bun. You need butter. Last but not least, bacon. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take an egg and we're gonna put it in a bowl. Next, we're gonna take some salt and pepper and we're gonna put it in the ground beef and the egg mixture. If you're not sure which one to put first, what you can do is you can take the salt and pepper and put it in like a takeout container and always have it. So all you gotta do is just take it a little bit, spray it on top, there you go. Next, all you wanna do is just mix up, mix up the eggs and the beef together. Try not to get any out of the bowl. All right, so once you got all of that shit mixed up, you can go ahead and move that out the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our onion and we're gonna cut them into strips. So you can just take it. After you're done slicing them all up, they should look like that. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna add the onions to a pan that's pretty much hot. So as soon as you throw them in, they start to sizzle. Then you wanna add some more salt and pepper just because you wanna layer flavor. Now what you want to start doing is you pretty much just want to keep them moving in a pan because you don't want them to start to burn, but you do want them to start to fry a little bit. So you want them to be a little bit brown, a little bit past sweated out. Pretty much once they're finished, they should pretty much look like this. Now that we set our onions aside, we're just going to go ahead and tray up our bacon. Um, For this recipe, you know, you can use as much or as little bacon as you want, but I'm going to use six pieces for this. I'm training it up because I want to put it in the oven just because I know they're going to get cooked all the way through. I don't have to worry about them curling up too much. Um, and I don't feel like getting popped because that shit hot. <laughs> now we're gonna take our ground beef. <clears throat> we're just gonna roll them into about, um, I say a little bit bigger than a golf ball. A little bit bigger than a golf ball. Go ahead, we're gonna roll those up as neat as possible. Perfectly round or as perfect as you can get it. You just wanna kind of flatten it out. It should hold together if you add that egg. Now here's an important, important step. And a lot of people skip this. If you're tired of having a meatball on a sandwich, you take your two fingers and you make an indent in the middle. Make an indent. Once you make that indent, it should keep it from shrinking. Once you do about a half pound, I used about a half pound of ground beef, so that should pretty much give you about four nice sized patties. All right, for this, I'm gonna take some butter. You could use cooking spray, you can use olive oil, you can use veggie oil, you can use bacon fat, you can use whatever the fuck you wanna use, but I'm gonna use butter just because that shit tastes good. Different types of pans you can use. If you just have like a regular frying pan, you're not gonna be able to cook as many as at one time. But for best results, honestly, either a cast iron pan or some type of skillet or a skillet pan, whatever you got. I'm personally using a skillet pan, so that will work out just fine. Now this is super important. You need to wait until your butter gets hot. And I'm not talking about somewhat hot i'm not talking about a little bit of hot i'm talking about that motherfucker gotta be hot as shit and the reason for that is because you don't want your burgers to stick as soon as you put them on there they should sizzle they should sizzle loud as hell all right after your pan is nice and hot you're gonna go ahead and add your patties to it if you have to you can make a bigger dent in the patty once they get on the pan now i know how i feel about layering flavors so i'm just going to add a little bit more salt and pepper to each patty. Just a tiny bit. All right, after about three minutes, you can go ahead and flip your burger. All right, so you pretty much want to do about three to four minutes on each side. And once you do that, you can go ahead and set it aside so you can prep your grilled cheese. So even though you see eight pieces of bread here or, you know, uh, four different sandwiches this is actually really two. We're gonna use two grilled cheese sandwiches for each burger. 
I know, I went there. Go ahead and take one piece of cheddar and put it on each slice. Matter of fact, I don't like it hanging off and I don't feel like scrubbing it off the pans later. So just go ahead and break them so they fit on the bun. Next, you wanna take one slice of bacon and fold it over, piece of cheddar. Next, you wanna add a slice of Colby Jack to each. You can just do the same thing you did with the cheddar. Now you pretty much just wanna take a little bit of butter and Smear it on the top sides of each. After you do that, go ahead and construct the sandwiches. So I forgot to tell you, it tends to work a little bit better if you put butter directly on the bottom side of the, of the buns as well as the top, but it's okay. All you gotta do if you make that mistake after you put them together is just put some, um, butter in the pan and you should be cool. All right, now just add the grilled cheese sandwiches to the pan. Honestly, I don't know if I've met a single person who doesn't know how to make a grilled cheese. So if you don't know how to make a grilled cheese, um, you might wanna Google how to make a grilled cheese. It's like, no. Uh, the way you can make a grilled cheese is pretty much you just want them to get golden brown on each side. You don't want them to be burnt. I've had a lot of burnt grilled cheese sandwiches in my life and they don't taste good. Don't want them to be burnt. Don't want them to be burnt. Don't want them to be burnt. <laughs> See, this is what fucking happens when you don't pay attention. Burnt grilled cheese, just like I fucking said. But it's okay. This is gonna be the bottom half. So what you wanna do is pretty much, you wanna kinda of get them as flat as possible. All right, so now we're moving on to the last and final step. We're gonna take pretty much a handful of our onions and we're gonna put them on our buns. Oh shit, our meat. Then you wanna take a slice of provolone cheese and melt it on top. All right, once they come out the microwave, they should be nicely melted over top of the onions. Now we shall assemble the burgers. All right, guys, after you finish, you should have a perfectly delicious, cheesy, amazing ass, delicious ass, fantastic ass, munchy, defying ass burger. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. As always, thank you all so much for the support. If you like this video and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Until then, peace.